So, God darn, it's hot there. Whoo! So the next one, we merge into Sagittarius, who's like the child, the person going off to college. We've mastered relationships now. The Sag chapter is entitled Between a Rock and a Hot Place. <laughs> Whoo! How many Sages do you know? Stand up. Show us what a Sag is like. <laughs> Canberra. Hey! There's Sag. Woo! John Stewart. Sagittarius. Woo! You want to know why? His butt just got burned bad in Scorpio. That's why. He don't need it anymore. What do you think Jim Morrison had that well, take it or leave it attitude? He wasn't the, the darling positive side of Sag. Neither was Hendrix. But the relationships got cooked in the fire that purifies in Scorpio. We met our partner and had wine and dinner. Then we got into sack, we got into marriage. We really tested. But almost everything you talk about with your friends, unless it's a beer or those steers, has got to do with how messed up or how good your relationship is. It's all about your ability to not betray somebody else. And it all comes down to, are you betraying yourself or not? And we're finally learning that. We're finally learning where the target really is here. Because with this Uranus-Pluto square that's going on now with Uranus here and Pluto here, that square that's going on, there's so much tension now that everybody is really tempted to blame somebody. If it wasn't for the Democrats, if it wasn't for the Republicans, if it wasn't for this or that, and that is the wrong thing to do. We should be identifying where we have screwed ourselves up. And never have I seen, in 35 years of doing this, never have I seen a public more ready to look at themselves. People are really ready. It's miraculous to watch. Miraculous. Even two years ago, three years ago, we were getting ready. But people know it now. They're seeing it. It's still not reflected in our TV programming, is it not? Garage wars. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Scorpio, the Sagittarius now, is done with personal relationships. They're past it. Sagittarius wants one of everything. They want a couple boyfriends. They want two colleges. They want five majors. They're always reading books. They're ruled by Jupiter. They don't understand limitations. The next planet out is Saturn in Capricorn. Jupiter ruling Sag, they don't understand limitations. They don't see why they should have a limitation. And the Sages are in line every other day in the registrar's office changing their major. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. And it's not that they're indecisive like Gemini. It's they want to try everything. They just want to. They want to try everything. Well, the other, the other husband might have a problem with that, but good, good luck. But this, that's why Sag is so big. It's about exploring and travel and the law and philosophy. It's no longer about what I think. It's about what do we think. This is our philosophers. And the soul is getting ready for the climb to the top. And Capricorn it needs to be here.